And I want you to make a covenant with God. Say, God, I want to honor you. You know I need this extra income, mm -hmm. but I don't want to viol violate principle. That's right. I believe if I honor your word, your will, and rest my body, mm -hmm. I'm going to be healthy. That's it. And you're going to cause my soul to prosper. Yeah. And I'm going to be prosperous. I believe in six days I will make just as much, if not more, than I would if I take that seventh day. When you make that, you tell God, I'd rather lose than, watch this, not follow your, your will for my life. Watch God. I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you to say to God, no, I know now some of you got jobs and, and, uh, at uh, government, things, things like that. Uh, I know when crisis comes, you have to do all that kind of work. But this, we're, not, we're talking about a lifestyle of working. Yeah. You must decide that you're going to put your trust in God. That's right. You must decide. Mm -hmm. You can say, God, I have to work seven because I don't trust you. Mm -hmm. Or you, you say, God, I'm going to work six cause, because I do. That's right. I told y'all, I asked y'all, was y'all going to stay with me now? <laughs> <laughs> now, the Bible says you should know truth. Now, see, you, you see, you don't have an itch in your ear. Stay with me. That's no, I was with you, Pastor, until you... Got, no, no. I, I'm preaching word to you. Yes, you are. are you listening? Yes. So, uh, fatigue and illness, chronic neglect of our bodies through poor diet, lack of exercise, or overwork can lead to illness and fatigue, making us less effective in fulfilling God's calling. Mm -hmm. Wow. Amen. You're messing up your immune system. Mm -hmm. Spiritual weakness, physical... Exhaustion can impair our ability to pray, read scriptures, and serve others. Now, you know how many times you went to sleep praying. I ain't got, you reading the Bible, you reading the Bible so you can sleep. Listen, you got to understand that ain't the will of God for you. God want to communicate with you, not help you doze off. Right, it's the third thing, it opened doors to sin. Poor health may lead to frustration, anger, or uh, depression, mm -hmm. which can become entry points mm -hmm. for spiritual attacks. And I'm going to cut it off right there. Yes, yes. Entry, entrance points. Mm -hmm. I, just, I got so much more. You have to understand that uh, God made a promise. He said, if you, follow, you obey my word, if you listen to, follow, obey my word, and my, if you're abiding me and my word abiding you, you can ask what you will. If you're abiding in Jesus right now and you're not abiding in his words, you need to make a decision. I'm going to live. In, not only am I going to be a Christian, but I'm going to live according to his word. The word abide means to dwell, to live. I'm going to live faithfully in the word of God. I'm going to walk by faith, not by sight. I'm not going to walk by need. I'm not going, not going to walk by feelings. I'm going to walk by faith. And if I need to cut things out of my life, I'm going to cut them out. There are some things I need to stop eating. It's going to be difficult for me, but it's, it's a challenge. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because it's the will of God for me. Now, when you say that, when you make that covenant with God, God, I'm not going to work no seven days. I'm going to work six or less because I trust you. When you make it up in your mind, that's what you're going to do. You're opening yourself up to receive what God has for you. You... I say, Lord, I want this sickness and disease in my body. I don't want it in my body. I gave you Proverbs. Where the Bible says, Proverbs chapter 4, where the Bible says the word is healing. Notice, it didn't say help first. It says healing because God knows you need to be healed. So he said, my word is healing and help to all your feet.